Hey guys, uh, welcome to Carnivorous Plants Hub. Um, today I'm going to give you a quick update on my Nepenthes ventrata. This is about 60 days old now or two months-ish, not exactly to the date, but really close. And I just wanted to, to show you this plant, show you how it's doing, uh, talk about what I'm doing to care for it, and uh, just give you kind of a general update. Uh, I purchased this guy from Lowe's a couple months ago and I was really nervous uh, because I didn't really know what to expect from a Nepenthes as I don't have a lot of experience in growing them so I was a little nervous that this was probably going to be my dud um, but it's doing pretty good and I'm really excited to show it to you real quick. Um, if you guys want to keep getting updates on these videos uh, so you can see how my plants are doing, I have some Venus flytrap, some Saracenia, I'm trying to do all different kinds of carnivorous plant stuff. Uh, please subscribe to the channel, uh, give the video a like, anything you do can help. Uh, I'm also, I have a dream to open up a, a nursery for carnivorous plants here pretty soon. Um, and our, my community doesn't have one, so I'm really hoping that I can do that uh, at some point. But um, anything you can do to help me is much appreciated. Uh, real quick, uh, before we go into the rest of this update and I show you more of this plant, uh, let me show you what it looked like on day one and then uh, my 30 day update. I'll cut to that real quick. Okay, welcome back. So you can kind of see what it looked like and you can see how much growth it's had. I'm gonna turn this here. I kind of saved this because I'm really excited about it. But um, you probably saw that, the little, um, the picture that was growing and look what it turned into. Look at that. So it's actually got a really nice size picture. It's probably inch and a half, maybe close to two inches. Uh, that little guy that I was showing you in that last video, my last update has actually grown into this. So it's doing really well. Um, it's probably almost tripled in size at this point. Uh, all the other pictures that were on there are actually still doing really well. They're not growing a lot. I don't think they're going to, uh, but they're still pretty healthy uh, and they're actually catching a lot of bugs. I don't know if you can, I don't know if you can really see the, the bottom of that there. Maybe if I hold it up to the light, let's hold it up to the light real quick so you can kind of see. Oh, it's not focusing. Uh, let's see if you can see some of the. Ah, it's kind of hard to see, but uh, there is definitely some bug accumulation. Oh, you can see it in there. That's a pretty good shot. You can see how it gets black at the bottom there. Those, some of those speckles. That's some of the bugs that. Uh, well, I think it's mostly gnats. We have a little. Bit, we have some gnats that kind of accumulate in our kitchen. So, um, I think that those are catching some of the gnats, which is pretty awesome. We're really excited about that. Uh, it's nice having a little bit of gnat control. But yeah, you can see that picture right there. That looks great. Uh, this is a Nepenthes ventrata. Uh, for care, um, you can actually see it's a little wet right now. I've been giving it a misting twice a day, uh, once in the morning, um, usually around seven, and then once in the evening, somewhere between five and eight when I get off work. Uh, so that's, you know, you can see I, I keep the, the soil uh, wet, but not muddy. Um, and I don't keep any water in the bottom. Uh, you can see here, let me see if I can open this up real quick. So you can see I have a little bit, um, but that's just from the water coming through and the misting. I don't actually keep water in here. Um, so you don't really have to do that with these. You do want to keep them wet on the top. They like humidity, uh, but they're also a really hardy plant. Uh, so you don't have to, you don't have to have like a super, super humid area. Um, and that's what I was worried about with this plant is I thought it was going to require a lot of humidity and it was going to be hard for me to grow. Uh, but what I have found is that misting it a couple times a day and then keeping it in my kitchen on the windowsill has actually been enough humidity for this thing to thrive. Um, I also am not growing it in sphagnum moss. Uh, a lot of people, I've actually had some people comment and some people kind of let me know that I should be having it in sphagnum moss, but uh, this perlite and peat moss mix has actually really served it well. Um, I mean, you can just see that it's growing. 
so I maybe I would have better results in the sphagnum moss but at this point I'm gonna stick with this substrate just because it's working and I don't see any reason to change it as long as it's working so we'll stick with this for a little while um, but as of right now look we got uh, we definitely have some new pictures coming in so look at this guy right here this guy is almost the exact same size that that one was 30 days ago when I'm and you can see in my video I have one that's almost the exact same size as that little guy right there he's got Another one growing out the top here. This one just sprouted up the other day. We got another pitcher growing right here. And these are all kind of hard to see because it's hard to focus on these little tiny. I see that one's actually doing really well. That one is not too far behind this one over here. And then we actually have another one right here. This one is actually a little bit further along than, than this one, but uh, I'm expecting all of these to actually grow pitchers. I haven't had any sprout and not grow a pitcher yet. The only one that's suffered is this guy back here, which is kind of frustrating because it's kind of it's kind of making this side of the plant not grow very well. You can see this one here didn't grow any pitcher because it's under this one and this one is cut. Uh, and this one was actually cut from the time that I got it, but this leaf has stayed green. Uh, the leaf hasn't died, so I've actually just left it on there because I'm assuming that it's helping uh, with photosynthesis since it is a green leaf and it is absorbing sun. So I just figured I'd leave it on there. If, if you guys think I should cut it off, uh, maybe leave it in the comments. Let me know what you would do. Uh, but as long as it's green, I think I'll leave it, even if it is kind of stunting. You can see that the plant is growing that way a little bit just because all the healthy pitchers and everything that are coming off there are kind of going that direction. This one here will be the first one that kind of gives maybe the plant a little bit of balance. Um, and then I've actually been trying to train this one to go this way a little bit, but it's been kind of stubborn It wants to come out that way. So we'll see what it does uh, when it gets a little bit bigger, but uh, Yeah, guys, so that's my My Nepenthes ventrata. Like I said, I'm watering it misting it two times a day I don't I just do a misting and then I just get the substrate a little wet. I don't do a lot of water um, It seems to be doing really well with just that amount of water uh, I keep it in the windowsill. It's a west-facing windowsill and if actually if you watch my last video uh, I do give you kind of a, a tour of my windowsill so you can see that uh, I'll put the link up uh, up top here just look up right there uh, you can uh, check out that video where I'll actually show you where this guy is sitting but he sits in a west facing window for um, probably gets anywhere from six to eight hours of sun uh, indirect sun I don't I don't keep the window open and this guy does not go has not gone outside once uh, well that's not true I've taken it outside to get a couple pictures of it um, but it doesn't actually stay outside. It's never actually stayed outside for any length of time. So this has been a completely 100% indoor plant and it's been entirely uh, west facing this entire time getting probably six to eight hours of indirect sun a day. It gets nothing in the morning. It doesn't get anything until probably 12 or so. And then we have a big tree in our backyard that kind of blocks out the sun a little bit for a while. So it doesn't get the full afternoon sun, but it gets, it gets quite a bit. And as you can see, it's definitely growing. It's definitely getting bigger. Um, so it does seem to be working. I don't know if I, just to give you kind of an idea, there's my hand so you can kind of see how big that pitcher is. Getting pretty close to a finger length, but yeah. So again, guys, thanks a lot for stopping by. Uh, go ahead and subscribe to the channel if this is something that you think is cool and you'd like to see this plant continue to grow. I'm definitely not gonna stop giving any updates. I, I want to, I was actually really excited to make this video and give an update just because it's, uh, the growth is really good on it. And um, I'm excited to uh, see what the next 30 days bring and I'll continue to give you guys updates and if anything exciting happens outside of the update I'll make sure and video and throw it on so subscribe to the channel give it a like uh, share the video whatever anything helps me and, and I, I really appreciate it thanks so much for being here uh, make sure to check out my website carnivorousplantshub.com um, I got all kinds of uh, content on there including how to care for Nepenthes, Venus flytrap, Saracenia, and then all kinds of cool articles on there too so make sure and uh, check that out. But yeah, thanks a lot guys. Hope you have a good one.